In our morning rounds, the business of healthcare medicine is thought of as a profession that helps people, but a study finds 42% of physicians are unhappy with their medical practices, and 59% would not encourage a young person to go into the field. So why are the doctors so dissatisfied? Athena Health co-founder and CEO is Jonathan Bush. He says it has to do with how the healthcare industry is run. He's the author of a new book called Where Does It Hurt? It outlines his solution for fixing health care in the United States. Jonathan Bush joins us at the table. Hey, Jonathan Bush. Thank you guys for having me. I'm flattered. You say that most hospitals, like, you pay for the Ritz experience, but what you get is below going to the YMCA. That hospitals are like an old department store. What do you mean? Well, uh, first of all, hospitals are extraordinary in a lot of ways. If we get hurt, I mean, you think about how many people were harmed at the marathon bombing up in our town in Boston last year, and none of them, not one who didn't die instantly, died after that. Hospitals are amazing that way. But? But not everything is a bombing. Not everything is an emergency surgery. And we need to get better at building focused, branded experiences <clears throat> for the part of healthcare that isn't an emergency so that we can shop for it, so that it can be product managed, so that we can actually feel good about something that's now costing us all 18% of our life's what work. Is, what does that mean exactly? Are you talking about hospitals essentially becoming specialty stores? In other words, focusing on one thing? Hospitals will, will start, they'll, they'll either focus on being a general store, and there'll be fewer of them, or yes, they'll focus on specialty stores, and there'll be the red carpet colonoscopy that happens quickly right when you're ready. Mm -hmm. You know, there'll be the half price one that happens at midnight when the machines are all empty. Those kinds of things can happen within the legal framework that we have, within the environment that we have. Uh, and so rather than another great top-down fix, uh, I'd like to invent, invite entrepreneurs to come into healthcare and to invite the inner entrepreneur and everyone who's already there to come out and show their flag. So you're the CEO of Athena Health. What That's do you it. do? So Athena Health is trying to create the healthcare cloud, just the way Amazon kind of made us all feel safe and reliable about doing retail shopping on the internet. We're working to make uh, it easy and safe to exchange medical records on the internet. So if the better place for the mammogram is off across town, I get my mammogram, but my doctor over here can instantly see it without me going around with envelopes, which happens so much today. Mm -hmm. So we're getting there. We got 50 million patients on one big, cool healthcare cloud that's totally secure, 50,000 doctors and growing. Mm -hmm. uh, and hopefully that'll be the enabling layer mm -hmm. that lets people really become entrepreneurs, focused factory builders. Mm -hmm. How much do you think we could really bring down the cost of medicine? If we, if we oh, really... Oh, my heavens. I mean, we shouldn't bring it all the way down to what we could, which would be, you know, well under half of what we spend, because we like to trick our stuff out, you know? The thing about healthcare that's worse than how expensive it is, is that we don't get to name it, own it. It's not an expression of our humanity. You know, I can't get a really great healthcare and go downtown and pick up some great ladies with it. Mm -hmm. I can't say, I hate this, I'm firing it, and put the money somewhere else. Mm -hmm. That's the piece that we need. So, hey, if it just didn't get more expensive over the next few years, mm -hmm. or grew less than the GDP so that it could become a a smaller piece of the pie, we'd love it, mm -hmm. especially if we could start to feel like it's ours more. Mm -hmm. We keep talking about your, your political dynasty. Your, your uncle is George H.W. Bush. Your cousin is George Bush, President's 41. I didn't think I was going to escape this show. 41. <laughs> your your, your <laughs> brother is Billy Bush of Access Hollywood. There's the real dynasty, in, absolutely. In, in, in entertainment. Yeah. So, did your you brother ever talk is to you? Billy? Yes. Oh my God, you see? Uh -huh. There's the real dynasty. <laughs> if you want to get a great like reservation <laughs> where you, at a sold out restaurant, you don't say I'm related to But w. Jonathan, you've you been working Billy on this Bush. for years. Why didn't you talk to your relatives? about doing something why didn't you take them this idea uh, separation of church and state or something like that I mean our family's got a pretty ironclad unspoken but widely understood rule that you know family doesn't lobby uh, mm -hmm. and doesn't, doesn't, doesn't get cozy it's a it's a charge to keep I think Georgie's you know book was was great that it's not one of those things when you're on you're on and we leave you there and love on you but but don't uh, don't trade on it All Georgie's right. book yeah, original, <laughs> excuse me, President no, W.H. Like Georgie's book. Jonathan yeah. Bush, right. thank you very Bush. much. Oh, it was a real pleasure. Thank you guys for reading. Thank, thank you for such a read of the book. Thank you read all, every word. Thank Where you. Does It Hurt is on sale now. <laughs>